These playing cards are out of this world. What up crew, today we're going to be taking a look at the off-world playing cards. These playing cards have been designed, realized, and distributed by Dealers Grip, aka Oliver Sogard. And on a side note, before we take a closer look, all of his decks are very different than what you usually see out there. I feel like I'm looking into the mind of an artist, and I don't know what's going on. So taking a quick look at this tuck case, it has a matted texture with a light gray color and I want to say a teal color for its designs. There are also holes or windows on the tuck case which gives you a glimpse of what's on the inside. On the front of the tuck case, it directly comes right to the center and that's where you see two holes that are somewhat connected with a line. On the front left, there's a rhombus type shape with one of its corners being kind of like curved in. And then on the right side, it looks somewhat like an exponential uh, kind of graph where you see dots that are separated by like a factor of two each time. And then right on the bottom, you see the name itself, Off World. Now coming to the back of the tuck case, you can see the main back design of the deck, but it's done in uh, brush strokes, which again look like a, in that teal color with the rhombus type holes giving you a peek right into the back of the playing cards. On the left side of the tuck case near the bottom, you see the dealer's grip logo. And then near the top, it says Pranic Lift. Now full transparency, I had no idea what that meant. So I went online, went to Google and searched up Pranic Lift. And all I found was Pranic Lift 777, which I think was a soundtrack, maybe. But anyway, on the right side now, you see the dealer script logo again, except this time it's uh, near the top, along with some of the details we talked about earlier on in the video. And then on top, you see the minimized version of the back design. And on the bottom, you see a catalog number, which is DG52012. I'm not 100% sure of what it means. I would assume the DG's dealer's grip 52 is 52 cards in a deck. And I would assume, again, just guessing, the 012 is the number of the deck that he released. Again, just guessing. Opening up the tuck case on the flap, you can see a 52 factorial, which represents the number of permutations in a deck of playing cards. So taking the cards out and looking at the back design, it almost brings me back to like kindergarten or first grade, where I used to put a bunch of different colors of paint together and then just smear it on paper. It gives me a very playful and uh, I guess artsy vibe. And maybe I'm just jumping a little bit ahead here, but um, if you uh, go ahead and look at the aces, you'll actually see that each ace has one of these four designs. Now this deck comes with four ad cards. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at them. The first one just says off world up top. Um, it has those two circles almost connected with the line and then the information uh, about the manufacturing and all that that we already covered um, earlier on. The uh, second ad card, um, I'm not exactly sure what this means, but again, it has that, that rhombus with that curved corner. It says uh, enable hardware, console manual, number one, extract cartridge, two, hold operations, three, establish aggregate, four, initiate memory, five, activate system, six, execute program, seven, connect network, and then finalized process, arrival complete. Maybe it's talking about the, uh, the cards themselves, the process they go through, I don't know. Something along those lines. The next ad cards we have are in the back here. So this is actually just a uh, collection of, of, of rhombuses or in shapes cut out here and there. Um, let me actually try this. I'm gonna put it inside the tuck case and see if it matches. Maybe I should put it in the other way, let's see. Look at that. All right, check this out. You ready? Boom. And is that is that in properly? Is that in? Look at that, that fits perfectly. That is pretty cool. I think they actually did quite a good job with uh, with this design. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. And then the last ad card that we have is actually done horizontally. Uh, you can see that it says off world with the four symbols here. And then on the bottom, it says earth is empty. Of course, we gotta take a look at the Ace of Spades next. The Ace of Spades design is the same as the uh, top left of the back design uh, with Offworld written in black text near the bottom of the design. And now let me go ahead and show you the other three Aces. Going through the deck now, we can actually see that the non-chord cards all have uh, two dots on the face with a plus sign right in the center. And of course, this causes some of the pips to move around, giving us some, I would say, some weird designs. Now, let me share one of my favorite things with you here is uh, the court cards, right? And they all just look like smears of paint. But the one thing I have to add is how well these cards were really thought out. Let me explain. So uh, here we have the Ace of Hearts with uh, this design. Now, this design was actually used 
to create the court cards which correspond to the suit. I mean, that's pretty cool. Just take a look at this. That is pretty cool. And obviously this applies across the board for clubs, spades, and diamonds as well. Now, as far as the handling goes, for those of you who are familiar with the uh, Dealer's Grip brand, these cards are meant for cardistry. So they feel very thin and handle very smoothly, but instead of me having to talk to you about it, let me just show you. And now let me just wind down with my final thoughts and personal opinion. The tuck case overall has a very nice feel to it. And although I love minimalistic design, I just like everything about this uh, tuck case from, from the holes, the way that they were designed, how everything was placed. I think it was actually done very well. So now let's talk about the back design of the playing cards, right? As some of you may know me, I do not, I just can't stand one way back designs. It's just, I feel so weird using them from card magic and that's what I mainly do. I mainly do card magic. But since this deck is intended for cardistry, I do believe the colors and the designs really pop when doing card flourishes. And of course, as I mentioned, they handle really well. Personally, as you probably figured out by now, I would not use these for card magic because people would think they're magic cards and you know, whatever that means. But definitely perfect for cardistry. The real question is, should you buy these? If you're a magician, it's, it's okay, like it's, it's fine. If you're a cardist, then I would definitely recommend it. And if you're a card collector, yeah, get these, get these now. They're limited edition, just, just get them. And now I do have some of these available on my website at cardmechanic.shop. I'll put the link to it down in the description. Make sure to go ahead and pick some up for yourself or maybe even for someone else. Personally, I'd like getting this as a gift. Let me know what you think of this deck down in the comments below and then check out this playlist of deck reviews I have prepared just for you. All right guys, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in one of my other videos. Peace out.